What's up everyone? I'm going to show you guys how to install blue LEDs into a BMW E46, any E46. In this video, I'm going to be showing you on a 330Ci, but this does work for any BMW E46, including the BMW M3. So to get started, I went on Amazon. I'll put a link to these in the description and I ordered blue LEDs. It's just as the bag. I have some more. They're not all in here, but when you get them, most, most of these uh, bulbs that come the LEDs that come in the package are going to be these ones and these are just for the domes there is one more that I'll show you guys in a little while that is for the actual foot for the foot wells but to get started what you're going to need well the only thing you're going to need is a plastic pry tool to just make sure you don't damage anything because you're going to be popping out a lot of panels well by a lot I mean two or three panels you're gonna have to pop out to access the lights so the first thing you're going to do is you want to get one of these, uh, have your LEDs ready, and head to the back seat of the car and locate the C-pillars. You can see my disgusting C-pillar that is uh, starting to droop. Once it becomes spring, I will be making a how-to video of how to fix these because these are awful. As you can see right there, it has the same thing. But to start off, what you're gonna do is you're gonna locate your dome light in the back, as you can see right here. This one is going to stay um, the incandescent bulb unless you want to change it to an LED as well, but I like it so all my blue lights come on with my car, so that, so that's this one. If I, if I unlock my car, this is the one that comes off. This is just a reading light, so I'm gonna leave that for now. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to take this, and from under it, it's kinda of hard, maybe hard to show you with one hand, but under it, you're gonna get under this thing any way you can, and you're gonna pry up. I'm gonna to have to come back off camera and do this and then I'll show you uh, where the actual pins are of where you should put this to get it out. Hang it from about right here and right here and as you can see, pull it out like this, it'll come out real easy because there is this piece right here and right here where it locks into. And then once you're done with that, you can take this connector off if you want, but what we really need to get to is this right here, the one that's with the reflector inside. And what you're gonna wanna do is just gonna twist it off like that should come right out and you can see I have an incandescent bulb. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop this bulb out. Should just pop out, Let's see if I can do it with one hand. So it's just gonna pop out like that and you're gonna take this piece and put in the new LED into it. So the thing you have to be cautious of, which I'll show you right here, is these, um, one side is positive and one side is negative. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it in, I'll show you how, how I'm gonna test it. You're gonna put it in one way, again, there's really no way of telling. You're gonna put it into the, the slot like this. It's gonna go in just like this. Again, I can't show you because I need two hands. But you're gonna put it in and then you're gonna see if it works. If it doesn't work, you just gotta flip it around. So I'll show you that in the next clip. So now that it's put back in, looks something like this and as you can see you can see the LED inside of it so to see if it works you're gonna come up here come up to your button right here press it as you can see my incandescent came on if your incandescent comes on well if your new LED comes on blue like it does right now or if it actually comes on at all it'll only come on blue then you know that it's working and you can shut it off and you can repeat you can repeat this process of what I just did on the opposite side, but I'm not gonna do that just for the sake of the video because it's identically the same. And then all you do is just push it right back in. So once you have the back done, you're gonna come up here to the front and you're gonna pop out this panel right here. Same thing, plastic pry tool right up here and right up here, as you can see it's starting to come down, and as you can see, it just fell down. So in this one, we're actually gonna replace, if you want, I mean, it's completely up to you, I'm gonna replace the middle one, so when the, I unlock the car, blue comes up, and I'm gonna replace these ones too, so it looks like, um, actually I don't have them in, so those will look, um, blue too. You can leave the side ones white if you want better visibility at night just to see. I might actually do that. I don't have any LEDs that, white LEDs that will fit, but I will be getting some. So the first thing, it's just like the back. You're going to pop off. doesn't matter which one. You're just going to pop this off. Just twist it. 
comes right out and you're going to just replace it with the new LED and then you're going to check to make sure they work. And I'll be back with that once that's done. So once they're all in, you can test it. But a side note, sometimes it might be hard to push push it into these things. It Just use some force. It does go in. But once they're all in, check. That one works. Middle one works. And the side ones work. But it's only going to look like that when you unlock the car. It's not going to have the side ones just to reiterate that. But once you're done with this, this piece just goes right back up in here. Make sure you get the front locked in first. Pop in the back. Pops right in. It's all situated. And then again, they just work. So now, the next thing I'm going to show you how to do is the footwell. So the footwell is going to look like that. And all you're going to do is you're going to take a plastic pry tool like just like you were using and just pop it up and it'll pop right down. We're going to pull it out. And then this time it's going to be a different bulb in your packaging that you got. You should have noticed that there was a long, um, a long bulb with like a heat sink on it. That heat sink is the one you're actually going to use for it. So I'll show you what that looks like in a second. So I came down here to my wheel well on the driver's side and just for the sake of the video, I will be using the driver's side. But all you do is you take your plastic pry tool, come up here and it might be hard to show you, but you get this right up there. There's actually a little notch right there that you can put something in here just like this and pop. But again, I'm going to pull it out and show you what it looks like when I get it out. To get it out, it's going to look like this. And again, there's a BMW connector on it. You can just pull that right off it comes right off it only goes in one way and then i'm gonna come up here and show you guys how to actually take off this piece right here it's not too difficult but i'll show you what to do you come up here and sl it slides off just like that it slides off like that and you're left with this so this, I'll show you how to take it off. This is actually an LED right here. It's not a blue one, it's just a regular LED. So I'm gonna show you. All you do is just pull up like that. It comes right out. Pop your new one in just like that. And then you can slit this cover back over. So I'll be back once I have the new one in and we'll put it back in. So once you have it back in, the important thing to remember is that this heat sink, you want facing up towards this piece. You do not want the heat he, uh, the heat sink facing down because obviously you're not going to see any light when this is on. You don't want it facing like this. This is kind of hard to sometimes keep in place while you're putting it on, I found. So I just try to hold it steady and I try to slip this piece on over it and it should just, it sits and it should slide on and it's in. Once these tabs right here, you can see how it kind of slides. It just sits into those two pieces clicks in you're all set plug that connector back in it only goes in one way i'll show you what it looks like just put it back in and go and push it back up and it's all secure we'll test this out make sure it works and i'll show you guys an end clip of what it actually looks like at night it looks really cool when you unlock the car at night and it's blue you guys had to actually test the footwell light so if you come up here and click this button the middle one and you come down here to the footwell you can see it's blue but i'm going to show you another cool thing uh, like how it works when you unlock the car so if you shut this off take your BMW key and press the unlock button you'll see where my foot is it, they fade on you can see that it got brighter it, they just fade on whenever you unlock and lock the car and when you lock the car they'll shut off it's just a really um neat little feature that's kind of built into the BMW but it makes the lights at night look awesome and I will be showing you guys a clip of what the LEDs look like at night. When, once it gets darker out, obviously it's right light out right now. I'll show you guys a quick clip of what it looks like. I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I just want to give you guys a look of what these look like at night so you can really see what they look like in all their glory. So when I open the door, the car's unlocked. You can see that the lights pop on, the footwell lights are on, that footwell light is on, the light up there is on, and the light in the back is on. And like I said, this one won't turn on, the one on the sides won't turn on, you have to turn them on by hand. That's just, if the car doesn't do that when it unlocks. But I just wanna show you guys, it looks awesome. I keep, I always get um, questions, how to do this, what's it look like? So I just thought I'd make a video on how to do it and where I got them. I'll just show you guys really quickly what it looks like when you lock the car, they fade off, 
And again, if they're flickering, that's just the camera. They don't actually flicker in real life. And I unlock it and they fade back on. This is just a must. Put me in perspective. I'm the deepest in the cut. Everybody tuning in, but this is just for us now. We know I ain't balling yet.